Hey everyone, for my Tuesday Sonics video, I originally wanted to show you working on the turtle deck with the ribs I had to move, but that'll be next week's video. Uh, last week I got super sick and it took the entire week to recover, so I didn't have any energy to go and work on the airplane. So instead, I thought I'd show you, or tell you, why I decided to pick the Sonics versus all the other aircraft out there. So the first thing when it comes to building an airplane is you have to ask yourself, why would I want to build one? And there are generally speaking three reasons. The first one is the fact that someone has to really enjoy building. Uh, I grew up building little RC cars, boats, and planes, and helping my dad build his full-size aircraft. And so I really enjoyed tinkering on things, building, and, and creating. And so it was kind of a natural progression to want to build my own plane. Uh, the second thing that people should look at when it comes to building an airplane is performance. Uh, the closest airplane to the Sonics and Speed that you can go and buy from a general aviation manufacturer is about 145 knots, and that's a Cessna 182. They're about half a million dollars to buy, and you're required to have two extra seats with you and higher fuel flow. So for me, I just wanted a smaller two-place airplane, and I thought this might be one of the, the perfect middle grounds for it. Also, when it comes to performance, uh, most single-engine Cessnas and things like that are not aerobatically rated, but this particular airplane is. And so I can, with my aerobatic training that I've had, go up and loop it and roll it, do all sorts of fun things when I take a passenger with me. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. The, the third reason why someone would want to build an airplane is the cost difference. This thing flying at 145 knots is, is pretty quick. Uh, I mentioned earlier the fact that a Cessna 182 flies at about the exact same speed for half a million dollars. And to get into something like a Cirrus, uh, the top of the line Cirrus costs over a million dollars now for a four place single engine piston aircraft. This particular airplane, when I'm done building it, you can build it for as little as about $25,000, but my setup's gonna be about $75,000 because I've elected to do some more um, advanced avionics, some really heavy duty, beautiful paint, and then also I'm gonna be getting the, the largest uh, engine size, which is the Jabiru 3300. That's about $22,000 for the engine, versus you can do a, about an $8,000 Volkswagen uh, kind of conversion, they call it an Aero V if you want to go that route, and that saves a lot of money there too. So when it comes to picking the proper airplane for you, what it comes down to is the person or the builder's mission. So for me personally, I wanted to be able to give rides to people. I wanted to be able to do some light gentleman aerobatics. And I also wanted to be able to have a little bit of ramp appeal because when you pull up to a fuel tank uh, at an airport to go get some gas, it's kind of fun when you have a slightly different, unique airplane when you show up to it. Uh, I've known a lot of people that built airplanes that look like Cessnas and Pipers, and at the end of the day, people kind of think, oh, it's just another such and such. They don't really give it much attention. But if I'm gonna put 1,500 hours into a project, I'd like to come out and have some unique appeal to it. The things uh, that weren't a big deal to me were range, uh, payload, because I'm not gonna be taking two or three of my friends and a bunch of fishing gear a thousand miles. Uh, this was really about being able to go out and burn a few holes to the sky and, and really just enjoy you know, looping and rolling it a few times and then come back to the same airport. So when it came from my decision on which airplane to build, uh, there were a lot of things you had to look at besides just the, the ramp appeal and things like that. Uh, the main ones were really complexity that you had to understand. Uh, is the airplane so complicated you can't build it? The nice thing about the Sonic specifically, is very much designed for a uh, beginner to intermediate person that they can come in and, and very quickly learn how to build the airplane. They also have weekend free seminars if you bought a kit to go in and they teach you how to do essentially every piece of making the airplane, which is really nice that they put those on. Um, when I decided to build an airplane, I wanted to make sure it was aluminum. My dad's built one of every single kind. He said that although you know it can be fun to make a fiberglass airplane like as long as he he said the complexity of getting the, the, the fiberglass right and the resin ratios, he said it's more of an intermediate to advanced style build. He said, so for my first airplane, he suggested I really do something out of aluminum because it's easier to work with, it's more forgiving, and it's very um, binary. It either worked or it didn't. One of the things that I looked at was the expected build hours. Sonic says anywhere between 500 and maybe 1,000 hours. Most people I spoke to said more like 1,000 to 1,500. Uh, I'm not in a race to finish this airplane because if I want to go fly something, I'm just going to go buy an airplane and go fly it. Um, that's what we got the, the 172 for, so that way I wouldn't feel rushed finishing this. So I got to go have an airplane to go fly if I wanted to go fly. Something to think about if you're going to build an airplane are all the sub-components. Um, putting the fiberglass or the aluminum together is one aspect, but also you need to be able to know if you're going to 
plumb the fuel system by yourself, if you're going to wire the instruments by yourself, wire up the, the solenoids and, and all the different types of, of electrical bits for the batteries and uh, starter motors and all those types of things. And if you're not comfortable with that, make sure you know someone who knows it extremely well. Same thing with upholstery. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to sew seats together. I've been sewing my whole life, so I know how to sew together upholstered seats, and I know how to paint, so I'm going to paint the airplane myself as well, too. But painting is another job that if you're going to farm it out, can cost another five to $10,000, depending on how uh, nice a job you want done. The last two things that I really looked at when it came to deciding which airplane to buy was safety. I wanted to know how many airplanes were flying, how many crashes there had, and what the reasons for the crashes were. I went and read every single accident and incident report for the Sonics when uh, I decided to go buy one and found out if there were any common uh, crash aspects or common uh, control problems or this, that, or whatever else. With the particular airplane I bought, I also opted to get the Fast Build Assist Kit. I can't remember what it's going to be called, or I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put a, a little thing in the bottom there. But what it was, was a kit that had a lot of the pieces pre-cut and pre-drilled for you at the perfect amounts and sizes. And they also have really well labeled with a sticker on each of them, so you know exactly where it's going to go and how it's going to fit. So I opted to get this. They said it can save several hundred hours, but also because of buying this, I did not have to buy uh, a few specific tools that would have been necessary to have for that reason. And so with that in mind, um, uh, it made a lot of sense for amount of time it saved, uh, knowing that this is built properly and not having to buy certain types of tools. So I hope it was helpful hearing uh, how and why I chose to build the Sonic specifically. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And then uh, I'll have a fun video on Saturday and another Sonic video on Tuesday. And hopefully on Tuesday, I can actually get a chance to work on the turtle deck and get the ribs in there. So thanks for watching.